Okay, I just received my PlayStation 3, and I wanted to show you what all came in the 80 gigabyte package if you order it. Um, I went ahead and opened it up and everything because I was going to do an unboxing video, but I'm tired of seeing the shaky hands. It's just so damn annoying. I'm trying to watch somebody open up a box, and they can barely even pick up the PlayStation 3. So, here's the box to begin with. It's just a standard box. Yippity doo day. You got your specifications on the back, including a few images of exclusive titles such as Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, Heavenly Sword, Warhawk, Uncharted, etc., etc. I'm not going to go through the specs because if you're interested in buying a PlayStation 3, you already know it's the most powerful console out there to date. First, upon opening the box, you're going to see the PlayStation 3 in the middle. On the side, there's going to be all the, access all the accessories that come with it. Starting with the DualShock 3 controller. Personally, I really like the DualShock 3 controller. It's a lot heavier than the 6-axis counterpart. You got your standard buttons, your joysticks, your X square, triangle, and circle. You got your guide button on the middle. You got your controller locator or controller number right here, you know, second player, first player, etc., etc. You got your charging port on top. That cable is also included. It's just like the PlayStation 2 controller, pretty much. But, you know, if it's not broke, why well, fix it? One thing I don't like is I don't like the trigger buttons. They're just... It's going to take getting used to after playing 360 for so long. Then, you'll come across your AV cable. You know, just your standard red, white, and yellow. This is for basically for poor people who can't afford the HDMI cable. Which is this. Uh, I actually work at Radio Shack. Forgive me, I know, it sucks. So I actually got a pretty good discount on this. I had one using on my 360, so it worked great. I see no reason to change it. Six foot only cost me about twelve dollars, so good enough. And upon entering it a little bit further, you're gonna encounter the Blu-ray disc that comes with it. It's basically just it introduces you to the PlayStation 3, gives you a few game trailers and a few movie trailers. Nothing special. I probably won't even watch it. Then you got your power cable, pretty standard, easy to replace if something lo if you lose it, unlike the power brick of the 360. Um, good enough. Then you have your controller charging cable. Looks pretty, st looks pretty standard. Looks like you can buy one of these in the stores for pretty cheap. No play and charge kits. It comes with a rechargeable battery. Some say that's good. Some say that's not. Because the battery dies, you have to buy a whole new controller instead of just buying the battery. You also got your standard catalog that comes with pretty much everything you buy. Shows you games that are coming up or already out, like Metal Gear Solid 4, Ratchet and Clank, etc. Then you come across your product manuals and your quick reference. Easy enough. If you ever read those, I'll give you a handshake because I don't know one person that's ever read the entire thing. Next, you get to the pride and joy of actually buying the thing, the PlayStation 3. It's a pretty sleek system. I really like the gloss effect. I have a sharp television show, uh, so the gloss will match really well. You got your touch-sensitive touch keys here. You got your eject, your power, and your reset. The disc just slides in and slides out. There's no disc tray, so you don't have to worry about that breaking. You got your two USB ports on the front and your Wi-Fi icon right here. So if you're using Wi-Fi, obviously that will be on. Turn this thing around. You got your AV port right here, your digital audio out, your HDMI out, your Ethernet cable, power switch, and your power cord goes there. Turn it on its side. Got your hard drive tray. Very, very easy to to install a different thing. So if you're worried about getting the lesser capacity PlayStation 3s, don't because you can easily exchange the hard drive. Go on Newegg.com and get like a 300 gig hard drive for about 40, 50 bucks. Very simple to install. This just slides out, put the new hard drive in, slide it back in, install the software updates, etc., etc. Very simple. Including all this, I also purchased just a standard Ethernet cable, three feet. That's all I'll need because it's right next to my router. A buddy of mine let me borrow Resistance Fallen Man. Uh, it was a launch title. I actually got this because I've 
I just ordered Resistance 2 and I wanted to catch up on the story. He also let me borrow Uncharted, which from my understanding is the one game that really didn't deserve the scores that it got. So I'm going to give that a try because he keeps praising it. He seems to love it. So we'll see how that goes. So this right here is PlayStation 3. Um, so far I like what I see. I love the system itself. It seems really, really well built. It's one thing I can't say about its others. Um, the box is nice. Got a nice little handle on top so you don't drop it. Of course, I almost dropped it when I came in. But that's about it. Enough of me talking. This is the PlayStation 3, the 80 gig hard drive. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.